Hi, here at Frostbox Labs we design products for studios like this one, our own Frostbox Studio. This product is specially designed for studios using both digital workstations and analog multitrace. The product is called 144 Relays because there is a lot of relays inside. And the unit is based around studios using both a console, analog tape machine and a digital audio workstation. It is 24 channels of I.O. for each of these three devices and it can connect it in multiple ways for using the devices in multiple workflows. The user interface on the front is very simple. We have only one button. The button selects which mode we are in. You can hear the relay clicking in the background. So we're going to start with the first mode. The, in our studio we have engraved it door tape console but if you have for example different doors we can do custom engraving. Um, after a moment uh, the LEDs dim so it doesn't disturb your eyes too much. So if I push it again it wakes from sleep and show the current state again. So in this mode we connect the door with the tape and back again so we can do what we call a tape dump from Pro Tools to our 24 track Studer A80 and back again. The next mode is this one. It connects the digital audio converters from Pro Tools for example with the console and back again. Useful for normal tracking and mixing using the Pro Tools and the console. The next mode is tracking or mixing with the analog multitrack or Studa A80 and the console. Finally, we have some more um, advanced mode. This one could be used for uh, tracking microphone in the console to the tape machine and then through Pro Tools and back into the console. So we can have Pro Tools running in input monitoring and use this as a backup recording if something happens with the tape machine during the tracking. And last we have the other advanced mode. This can be used for example if you want to archive something from tape but wants to use the filtering and dynamics on the console then record it back into the Pro Tools. The audio path inside the unit is totally passive so it doesn't alter the sound in any way. It simply routes between the different devices. On the back side of the unit, we have all the connections. Um, of course, there is a lot of analog I.O. These are those 25-pin D-sub connectors, the standard used in the audio world in the standard Tascam format. So they they make all the 24 in and outs for the three devices. Furthermore, we have the power connector and the on off button. Then we also have a data connector. Um, it's useful for firmware updates, but also for linking if you want systems uh, with more than 24 channels. And in the future, optional remote will be available to connect to this because normally you would have this placed near your multi-tracks and that can be in a machine room far away from the control room so you can have a remote at your console. So in our studio we use it for the analog tape machine and the digital Pro Tools converters and our SSL console but you can use it in other ways as well if you have a multi-track you share between two consoles for example or if you have a different digital audio workstations that you want to connect to your console. It gives a lot of options for using the multitracks in many different ways and open up some creative useful ways of connecting the old analog world with the new digital world in a very simple way. 
So hope you like it and please comment below or just go to our website labs.frostbox.net and email us if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.